While some clubs are feeling the effects of so much racing during the Christmas and New Year period, not so at Sandown on Saturday, where there will be near capacity fields in most races. One of the interesting runners of the day will be the Paddy Payne trained Shamwa Road in the Info Handicap. Shamwa Road seems to have an amazing constitution as he's been able to race successfully for many months commuting between Melbourne and Adelaide. Shamwa Road is a tough on pace sprinter and it took the talented Darren Weir prepared Nikitas to beat him at Morfettville last start. While this is a big jump in grade, Mitchell Aitken's 3 kg allowance sees the horse drop 5.5 kg following his last start defeat. There seems to be a lack of distance races at Sandown on Saturday. The furthest race to be run will be the 1800m handicap. Only a benchmark 64 grade race, the lightly raced Misty Rock, makes appeal. Having just had two race starts, which included a defeat at Wodoga, the beautifully bred three-year-old filly did let her classic pedigree down when she scored a comfortable win at Geelong. It seems the further they go the better she will be considering her mother missed is by world champion staying sire Galileo. One of the key races on the Sandown program will the three-year-old filly's benchmark 70 event. It has managed to attract a strong field which includes four last start winners. However, the unbeaten Darren Weir trained Twitchy Frank looks set for group races later in her career. Powerful wins at Swan Hill and at Mui Valley gave notice that further distance would only complement her form profile. With the 2 kilogram allowance for inform apprentice Ethan Brown, the youngster should lie very hard to toss. As the Blue Diamond Stakes draws nearer, the two-year-old races become more competitive and Saturday's two-year-old plate at Sandown is what we expect as we enter the new year. The David Hayes trained love Lucille is the one to beat with her immaculate pedigree that saw the stable pay $300,000 for her as a yearling. The youngster by Manhattan Rain and from the Sydney winning mare Double Raga looks to have the lotion. And while love Lucille looks the obvious selection, the race could run very deep with a number of enraced youngsters who could be ready to blossom on their debut. The benchmark 71,000M race has attracted an excellent field of country and city sprinters. One of the most interesting will be Doc's hero who scored two wins at Pakeham and a tough second at Mui Valley during its last preparation. The five-year-old is a winner first up and appears well-weighted with just 57 kilograms and is certain to be running on in the closing stages.